Sup guys? Checked my email this morning and I saw that Newview is having a 20% off sale. So I thought I'd record this video comparing the Field 75 against two other mechanical wireless keyboards. Up top is a Logitech G613, below that is iQnix's F96, and below that is Newfie's Field 75. As you can see, the Logitech is the largest of the bunch. It's full sized. The F96 by iQnix is a 96% with 100 keys. And the Field 75 is a 75% with 83 keys. What's interesting is that iQnix managed to cram 100 keys into a footprint that is very similar to the Field 75. In fact, it's actually smaller than the Field 75 simply due to this handle, which makes it jut out about half a centimeter more. But in order to do that, iQnix had to remove the gaps between F4 and F5, F8 and F9, and there is zero gap between the number pad and the enter key. There's zero gap between the number pad and the arrow keys. And that has become an issue um, several times during my usage. In terms of chassis material, Logitech is all plastic. iQnix is all metal. I believe it's aluminum. And the Field 75, just like the Logitech, is all plastic. But the Field 75 feels like a much thicker plastic. It's also got a nice satin finish to it. Logitech's chassis feels like a chintzy kid's toy. Also with the Logitech, you're tied down to their Romer G switches, which is their version of a mechanical switch. Yeah. So any Cherry MX keycaps that you may have lying around are incompatible with this keyboard. You have to use Logitech's keycaps. Just keep that in mind. In terms of sound, you probably could get all the keycaps to sound very similar to each other. Uh, in my case, they're never going to sound exactly alike. I got the Field 75 in a Polaris switch. They're linear. I got the F96 with uh, Cherry MX Browns. They're tactile. And the Romer G switches are linear, I believe. But out of the box, if you don't try to lube them yourself, the Logitech sounds like shit. <laughs> F96 isn't bad, but isn't great either. And the Polaris switches on the Field 75 sound infinitely better. So out of the box, you're gonna get the best experience the best sound profile with the Polaris switches on a Field 75. At least that's what I've experienced. One of the negatives I've found with the uh, Logitech keyboard is that I never use these G keys. Uh, and I will find in many cases that while I'm reaching for escape, I'll hit G1 instead and that'll uh, act as an F1 key and pop out a, a help menu whenever I don't need it. And that has happened on numerous occasions. So I dislike that. I could probably disable it with Logitech software, but I'd rather not install any sort of software that isn't critical to keeping my system running nicely. G keys on the Field 75, I've never had an issue with them. You actually have to press down with a good deal of pressure to actually actuate them. They are similar to mouse keys, like mouse key clicks, but uh, you've, you've got to put down a great deal of pressure. So they've designed these G keys, Newfie, pretty damn well. 
in terms of connection, the Logitech keyboard is strictly a wireless keyboard. There's no port for hooking up a hardwire to it. It's wireless, but you can either do 2.4 gigahertz or Bluetooth. Just can't do wired. The F96, so there's actually two versions of the F96. I have the version one. The second version has, I believe, yeah, it's got tri-mode connectivity, just like the Field 75. I have the V1, so the only wireless connectivity is via Bluetooth. The Field 75, the most modern of the three has tri-mode connectivity, so you can either hardwire it, Bluetooth it, or use 2.4 gigahertz. My main keyboard now is a Field 75. Hands down.